We have continuing team coverage of today's verdict. A Scott County judge found Henry Dinkins guilty in the kidnapping and killing of Brasia Terrell. The 10 year old Davenport girl was missing eight months before we learned her fate. News 8's Nina Burns was in the courtroom for today's verdict and shows us how the judge decided the fate of Henry Dinkins. After multiple long, grueling weeks, we end this trial with the family saying justice is served. But not before Judge Latham spelled out why he reached a guilty verdict. Throughout this entire trial, we've heard the defense say the state built a case off of circumstantial evidence. But Judge Latham reminded us the court can use common sense. In considering the evidence presented, the court makes deductions and reaches conclusions according to reason and common sense. Facts may be proved by direct evidence, circumstantial evidence, or both. Key players in this trial, Judge Latham addressed during his verdict include Aisha Lankford, Briasia's mother, DL, Briasia's younger brother, and Dinkins' biological son, and Andrea Culberson, Dinkins' then girlfriend, whose apartment DL and Briasia spent the night at. All of this was further supported by the testimony and statements made by Aisha and Andrea. That theory is Henry Dinkins took Briasia from the bed she and DL slept in that night drove to his RV and sexually assaulted her. When he realized she wouldn't keep the secret, he decided to execute her. Coming back to the apartment at 3.30 in the morning and rummaging through a closet. Judge Latham stating the court finds beyond unreasonable doubt Dinkins was searching for a gun or some other object to kill Briasia. During that time, Andrea Culberson noticed Briasia standing outside of Dinkins' Chevy Impala. The defense argues there is no one testifying they saw Briasia in the Impala. Although this is true, the court is relying on its common sense and experience that if Briasia did not go with the defendant, then she would have entered the apartment or knocked loudly to gain access to the apartment. Briasia was not familiar with this complex. If she was not with the defendant, she would have wanted to be with her brother and Andrea. After leaving again, security footage shows Dinkins in a quick shop, repeatedly looking at the Impala outside. During this time at the quick shop, it is evident the defendant is ensuring that Briasia remains in the vehicle while he is inside the store. Judge Latham then comments on Dinkins' wits. The court specifically finds the defendant was not savvy in any manner. Announcing his verdict. The court finds the state has met its burden of proof in this case. The court finds beyond a reasonable doubt the defendant committed murder in the first degree. After the verdict, we spoke to Briasia's mother, who says she and her family plan on laying Briasia to a proper rest, not the way Henry Dinkins left her. With photojournalist Brad Mosier in Davenport, Nina Burns, WQED News 8. Now, Henry Dinkins sentencing is set for October 11th. 